right, so let's uh, let's begin here. Get right into this. Get right into it. So, uh, the first game we're going to talk about is a game called Outlaw. Let me run it here. Has anyone played Outlaw? Few people. Outlaw Few is a people. game on the Atari 2600. This is the copy of Outlaw that I played when I was also one. Known, also known in our friend group as Pretzel Cowboys, because they look like pretzels. This game has some amazing sound, some landscapes. Check out those we're, graphics. We're going to play it in a minute. We're going to play it in a minute. But just for now, let me tell you, let me tell you a little about this game. So uh, in 1976, a long time ago, eight years before, uh, six years before I was born, uh, Atari made an arcade game called Outlaw, which was pretty much, it was a light gun game, actually. And you had to, you know, pull, you had to basically shoot the outlaw before he shot you. It was a quick draw situation. He usually shot you. Usually. Um, but then in 1978, so two years after Outlaw came out, right, there was a guy named David Crane who was an employee at Atari. And they said, David Crane, your first job at Atari is to make Outlaw for the Atari 2600. Now, David Crane... His idea was like, look, you keep porting these arcade games directly to the Atari, trying to copy the original. That doesn't work so well. I mean, look at Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. Just look at it. It's awful. Um, he says, really, you should try to make a game for the Atari 2600 so it doesn't suck. And of course, he was right. The Atari 2600 failed uh, because mostly a bunch of crappy games came out for it. So when he went to port Outlaw, he said, yeah, you know, I'm not going to port Outlaw. What I'm actually going to do is this is other game made by Midway called Gunfight, right, which had a sequel called uh, Boot Hill, right, which is a lot like this. Two cowboys, on, you know, on the side to side shooting at each other. So he said, I'm going to copy that game for the 2600 Atari Outlaw instead of copying the Outlaw Outlaw. Uh, now, David Crane, this forgotten master, right, he was actually a pretty important person. Um, after he made Outlaw, he made another good Atari game called Canyon Bomber, if you've heard of that. And after he made Canyon Bomber, he quit. And he was one of the founders of Activision. He made Pitfall, Pitfall 2, uh, Ghostbusters, let us not speak of that. Uh, now, you may not, this may not seem like a big deal nowadays, but back then, until Pitfall came out, Pitfall was like the Matrix or the Super Mario Brothers of games on the Atari. It was a real side-scrolling platformer unlike anyone had ever seen before. You look at it, it's closer to a Nintendo game than you would think the Atari is capable of if you see the other games on it, like Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the Atari series is 100 and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games, right? And there were really only a handful of good ones. And Master David Crane, who hasn't done anything great recently, I think he works for the company that does CandyStand.com? I'm not sure. Um, uh, he made like four or five Atari games that were incredibly playable and still playable today because we still play Outlaw today. So let's let's teach you how Outlaw works. Uh, we got controllers here. Sorry for the inaccurate emulation. Come on, you didn't have a wireless Xbox controller connected to your Atari. Oh, I, have to, I have to start the emulator after the controller's turned off. It's annoying. <gasps> Oh no, it's technology so, is fed. so unprofessional. Sorry. You realize usually we pretty much stage and script everything. We just play like videos, pretend we're Okay, so games. each player controls a cowboy. I'm the left cowboy. <laughs> uh, no, you're not. You're the right cowboy, on my perspective. Anyway. Right. So, you can see this cactus in the middle. Yep, the cactus is currently in indestructible mode. Uh, we can also, the idea is you want to shoot the other guy ten times, then you win. Hey, I was busy. Much better. You can shoot up, you can shoot down, and you can shoot straight. That's it. But this game has advanced modes. Let us go cycle through some of these modes. Right, so here you can see at the top, right, there's these little bars. This is ammo mode. Let's do ammo mode. What's going on? Sheriff. So first of all, you've noticed the cactus is now in destructible mode. You can shoot the cactus. Come on, Sheriff. Come on, whatever. I'm just waiting for you to run out of ammo. Oh, oh, good uh -oh. job. Good job. He's got no ammo left. <laughs> oh, I'm going to come over there. It's not looking so good. Yeah. What are you going to do now? You got no shots. I'm just going to turtle. Oh, the cactus. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. I got bullets again, kid. All right, so you see this game is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, who's got no ammo now? I'm not trying that hard. You want to play for serious? I'm just demonstrating this game. I'm not actually playing. I it believe yet. that excuse was stolen from a forgotten master. So now, if you'll notice, right, uh, on the Atari 2600, there's these difficulty switches. So each player can separately be in hard or easy mode, right? So that's the one other thing about Outlaw is if you're in hard mode. Good job. <laughs> Rim's trying to get into hard mode. He's doing it the wrong way. 
if you're in hard mode, right, you're in, if both players are in easy mode and you shoot each other at the same time, you both die. But in hard mode, if you die, <laughs> in hard mode, if you die, your bullet disappears. So whoever shoots first actually gets the kill on the other person. It's much like right of way in fencing. Yes. Hey! <laughs> All right, there's also, this is the best mode Look is, at those graphics, that's like 12 this, pixels This across. is the best mode in the whole game, this is destructible ammo moving wagon mode. And oh, this single is player? single player tumbleweed mode. This is a primitive AI, show them the AI. Oh, I guess we're past it. The AI is pretty great, check out what this tumbleweed does. Look at that. Scott, the tumbleweed, you're not doing so well. No, I'm not. <laughs> So what's going on in this game? It is a direct competition game. When I say direct, I mean like super direct. Two players directly versus each other with very, very simple victory conditions, much like Pong, air hockey. Many of the old Atari games were multiplayer games. It's also an incredibly easy game to learn. I just taught you the whole game in like two minutes. Uh, if it, mine is rooms joking about, you know, pretzels. But yet at the same time, the skill cap is surprisingly high for the fact that there are, like you could count the number of pixels on that screen pretty quickly with your eyeballs. And yet the skill cap is relatively high. I mean, if any one of you played against either of us, you would get creamed. We had a, we had a tournament on New Year's, was it New Year's? Yeah, we had a tournament at our apartment. We had like 12 people. No, it was a 4th of July tournament. In this gigantic tournament for the championship belt. And we're playing through, and Scott and I own the game, so we play it pretty regularly. Everyone else, you know, they played it when they were kids. Uh, yeah, the tournament came down to me and Scott right away. Nobody else could even like get a shot off. So, you know, what looks like a deceptively simple and stupid game, if we let you guys line up and play this, you'd probably be here for quite some time, I imagine, outlawing it up. 